Hello, he calls me his child. Child, Dusty Rose. Problem of Pain by C.S. Lewis. So this is C.S. Lewis's attempt to address the problem of pain. Why is there pain in the world? What is the point of it? How could a good God, how could an omniscient God, how could an omnipotent God, etc. And uh, he again says, left, right, and center, I'm just a layman and this is just what I see. And then he brings all of his philosophical uh, acumen to bear on the question. I would definitely read this after having read Mere Christianity because there are arguments in here that essentially presuppose you've read Mere Christianity and know how his thoughts work on that topic. So I, I don't think he necessarily like skipped over the reasoning. He borrowed concepts that he'd already explained in Mere Christi Christianity instead of explaining them all over again in Problem of Pain. It's kind of like Mere Christianity is like Christianity 101 and this is like Christianity 102. It's a little difficult to wade through because Every now and then, he'll just get very, very Oxford on you. He'll pull his Latin, he'll pull his Greek. He'll reference some expression that I have no idea where it came from. At which point, I'll stop for a minute, groan, and say, Okay, yes, yes, Oxford, Mick Oxford, we know you went to Oxford. We know you're a professor. I tease lightly, but, you know. This is, again, one of those books where I would say, it's probably not a complete view of the problem, which I'm sure he would agree with. And the last chapter is an absolutely beautiful concept of heaven that that he sees as a possibility of how it may be. It just blows out of the water the whole, like, playing harps on a cloud mental image. And just gives you a taste of, like, no... Nobody really has a concept of what it could be. Even people who have a, a beautiful, possible concept, they're probably only just touching the edges of it. I think I found this not that long after Mere Christianity. Uh, this was, I think, the next logical read. It is a little bit harder. It is, ironically, a painful book to read, but also a very good book, a good argument. I'd like to see more books about this topic and read more books about this topic because I've seen a lot of pain and felt a lot of pain. I'm not going to say that I've felt the most pain out of anybody by far, but I've felt plenty of pain. I've known a lot of people in a lot of pain. So this is one of those questions for me, too. And it's a good book, and that's why it's here.